Hello everyone, how are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and today we are going to discuss the what I have learned part and the what I can do part of your module 6. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raimon. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. The probability line or scale can be used to predict and describe the possibility of an event to happen or not to happen. So, ang ginagamit natin class ay ang probability scale or line para malaman natin or para ma-predict natin at mailarawan ang probability or chance na ang isang event ay mangyari or hindi mangyayari. As we discussed last time, the word certain can be used to describe that a particular event will surely happen. And that is described as 100%. And also we use most likely ay malaki ang chance na mangyari. And that is described as 0.75 or 75% or 3 fourth in fraction. We can also use the expression to describe the chance of an event to happen. As likely as unlikely. Inilalarawan naman nito class ang 50% chance of probability or 0.5 sa decimal or 1 half sa fraction. And also, to describe 25%, 0.25 and 1 fourth, we use the word or the phrase most unlikely. Ito naman yung part class na kung saan maliit lang yung chance na mangyari ang isang event kasi nga closer na ito sa impossible which stands for 0 or 0%. Again, para mas maintindihan, kapag ang event ay certain, that event will surely happen and that probability is equal to 1 or 100%. Ang event ay most likely to happen kung ang probability nito ay nasa gitna ng 0.05 or 50% at saka ng 1 or 100%. Kapag ang isang event ay inilalarawan bilang most likely to happen, malaki ang tsansa ng event na yan na mangyayari. Halimbawa, kapag sinabi ng ating weather forecaster na 75% ang chance or ang probability na uulan bukas, then, ang ibig sabihin niyan, malaki ang chance na uulan kinabukasan. Now, the probability of an event can be described as likely as unlikely when the chance of it to happen is the same as to the chance that it will not occur. Ang kanyang probability ay exactly 50% or 0.50. Ang ibig sabihin ng part na to class, Ang chance na mangyayari ang event ay pareho ang chance na hindi ito mangyayari. That's likely as unlikely na probability. The event is most unlikely to happen when its probability is closer to 0 to 0 0.5. Ang part naman ito class or 25% or 0 0.25 or 1 fourth sa fraction ay naglalarawa ng maliit na tsansa na lumabas o mangyari ang isang event. Kasi nga, ito ay malapit na sa imposible or zero. Winning a lottery class is an example on this part. So, maliit lang ang tsansa kasi marami kang numbers na pagpipilian, more or less 50 to 55 numbers, then you only have to choose 6 numbers. So that's how unlikely the event to happen. Now kapag impossible naman class, ang event ay talagang hindi mangyayari. Its probability is 0 or 0%. Now let's have number 1 in the what I can do part of your module. 
What is the probability that you will get wet by standing under a heavy rain without a raincoat or an umbrella? Kapag tumayo ka daw, class, sa gitna ng ulan na walang raincoat at walang payong, ano ang probability mo na mababasa ka sa ulan? Yes, for sure, that's certain. Malamang sa malamang, class, 100%. Mababasa ka talaga sa ulan. So, certain ang answer natin sa number one. Number two, what is the probability that you will pick Ace of Hearts from a deck of cards. Are you familiar with this Ace of Cards class? Yes, ito yan. Yung alas class sa mga playing cards natin. Ano daw yung chance na makukuha mo yung Ace of Hearts sa playing cards? For you to answer that class, you have to know first ilan ba lahat ang playing cards mo. Yes, so we have all in all 52 playing cards lahat. Tapos, Ilan ba yung Ace of Heart? Yes, isa lang. ba? Isa lang ang Ace of Heart sa ating mga 52 playing cards. So, hindi naman siya imposible class na makuha yung Ace of Heart, pero malaki o maliit ba yung chance mo na makuha ito? Okay, now, ba? isa lang siya. Out of 52. Now, kung i-divide mo yung 1 sa 52 class, ang result niyan ay 0.02. Kung ilalagay natin yung 0.02 sa ating number line or probability line, yan, dito siya malolocate, di ba? Napakalapit niya niya sa impossible. Pero yun nga, hindi naman siya talaga completely impossible. Then the probability would be most unlikely. Maliit lang yung chance mo na makukuha yung Ace of Hearts among 52 playing cards. So, yan yung sagot natin sa number 2. Number 3, what is the probability of getting the jackpot in a lottery? Ano daw yung probability class or chance na mananalo tayo sa loto? So, actually, meron tayong iba't ibang uri ng laro sa loto. Meron tayong mega loto, super loto, and grand loto. Now, ang ibig sabihin nito, class, for example, ng mega loto, 6.45. So, anim na numbers ang, ang pipiliin mo, 45 numbers ang pagpipilian mo. Yung super loto naman, anim yung numbers na pipiliin mo, 49 numbers ang pagpipilian mo. Meron naman tayong grand loto na anim pa din ang pipiliin mong numbers, pero 55 na numbers na ang pagpipilian mo. Kunin natin yung probability, for example, ng Grand Lotto. Let's solve the probability of winning Grand Lotto. So again, meron tayong 6 na numbers na pipiliin out of 55 numbers. Na kung i-convert natin ito sa decimal class para mas madali siyang i-plot sa ating probability line, i-divide natin yung 6 sa 55. So 6 divided by 55 ay equal sa 0.11. Rounded off na to class. Na? So, 0.11. Ngayon, kung gagamitin natin yung ating number line at ilalagay natin yung 0.11 dyan, dito siya malolocate. Yan. That's 0.11. So, kung tataya ka ng loto, especially for the grand loto, ang chance mo lang ay 0.11. Now, Kung ikaw ang tatanungin at since alam mo na gamitin yung probability uh, number line natin, ano yung chance of winning mo? Is it impossible, unlikely, as likely as unlikely, likely or certain? Kung mananalo ka, chak na mananalo ka, that's certain. Kung walang chance na manalo ka, that's impossible. Na hindi naman imposible na hindi manalo sa loto. Pero kapag ito lang ang yung probability mo to win, then your probability is mostly unlikely. Maliit lang yung chance mo na manalo. So ngayon, kung tatanungin ka, what is the probability of getting the jackpot prize in a lottery? Now, what's your answer? Yes, that's most unlikely. Maliit lang talaga ang chance mo na manalo. Number four, what is the probability that you will see a rainbow? Yan. Araw-araw ba class may rainbow? Actually class, a rainbow is formed when the light 
passes through a water droplet hanging in the atmosphere. Usually, kapag umuulan, no, may reflection na mangyayari sa light from the sun sa mga water droplets ng rain. So, that's why meron tayong rainbow na makikita. So, kung ikaw ang tatanungin, makakakita ka ba ng rainbow? Ano yung probability na makakakita ka ng rainbow? Yes, absolutely, that would be most unlikely. Meaning, maliit lang yung chance na makakakita ka ng rainbow, pero hindi imposible. Let's have number five. What is the probability that a turtle will grow wings and fly? Ano yung possibility na yung pagong magkakapakpak at makakalipad? Yes, that's very impossible. So, that's 0%. So, yung answer natin for number 5 is impossible. Number 6, what is the probability that the sun will rise tomorrow? Yes, that's certain. Number 7, what is the probability that the sun will shine tomorrow? Actually, this is just the same with item number 6, diba? So, that's certain. Number 8, what is the probability that the fish can walk? Obviously, that's impossible. Hindi nakakalakad ang isda. Hindi talaga mangyayari yan. So, that's impossible. And number nine, observe the spinner below. What is the probability of the spinner landing on a planet other than Jupiter? So, ano daw yung possibility class or probability na hindi magla-land ang spinner sa Jupiter? Yes. Yeah, so, ibig sabihin... Yung tinatanong dito ay yung pwedeng mag-land sa Earth, Saturn, at saka Mars. So, that's 3 out of 4. Okay? So, kung ikukonvert natin yan sa decimal, that's equivalent to 0.75. At dito siya matatagpuan sa ating number line. So, definitely the correct answer here is most likely. Malaki ang posibilidad na magla-land ito sa mga planet, pwera lang ang Jupiter. Let's have number 10. There are one yellow, two blue, and two green cubes in a box. Without looking, what is the likelihood of picking a yellow cube out of the box? So, limang cubes, tapos ang ipipick natin or ang kukunin natin ay yellow cube lang. Now, para ma-determine natin ano yung probability, then we will solve it. So, isang yellow lang out of 5. So, that's 1 fifth lang ang probability. So, again, medyo mahirap i-plot yung 1 fifth. Confusing siya. No? Kung hindi mo siya masyadong uh, maintindihan yung fraction, then you may convert that into decimal number. So, yung 1 fifth ay pwede natin isulat sa decimal by dividing 1 sa 5. So, 1 divided by 5 will result to, yes, that's 0 0.20 or 0 0.2. Now, saan ba natin makikita yung 0 0.2 sa ating number line? Ito yung ating 0.25. So, that's less than 0.25, di ba? Kasi 0.20 lang siya. So, ibig sabihin, dito siya makikita. Somewhere here. So, 0 0.20. Ngayon, ano ang likelihood of picking a yellow cube? Yes, that's most unlikely. Maliit lang ang chance na makukuha mo yung yellow kasi nga isa lang siya sa limang cubes na nasa box. Now this time let's have your assessment pero ikaw na muna yung sasagot pati sa additional activities part ng module mo sa lesson 1. May separate video lesson ako para sa mga sagot sa assessment and additional activities. You may use any piece of paper there and your time starts now. Na kung gusto mong malaman yung mga sagot sa assessment and additional activities, pwede mong i-click yung link na nasa itaas. That's all for today class. See you next time. Keep safe everyone!